was well handled by by all the shot there and uh, the foul was picked up by the referee Laurie Walker gets the ball clear on loan from Milton Keynes Dons 32 years of age and here's Tommy Block slightly stronger touch but plays it down the line looking for Tabon Campbell but Kinsella will beat him to it long ball forward which Diara shoulders down to Tommy Block and uh, picked off him by Berkeley Adjapong champion will chase champion who was pushed there but no says the referee play allowed to go on Buckley Adjapong left footed cross into the box Tiara gets two legs to it needs to get the ball away Buckley Adjapong is there again and it's struggled champion off the crossbar ricochets onto the crossbar Craig Ross could do absolutely nothing about it and eventually Woking scramble it clear Jordan fires it forward once again chested off Whittingham and Woking have, will have a throw and breathe and breathe, and breathe. <laughs> that was relentless front of the travelling auto shot support Alan Dowson down below us Mark Molesley away to our right long throw down the line flicked on by Whittingham over the head of Andrews Diara gets a foot to it and gets it clear goes Glover once again bouncing off a a few players, Whittingham will chase Tyreek Johnson's back inside the Aldershot half, plays a good ball down the line looking for F. Young, can't get his body across Oxley chamberlain but wins the ball back, low ball to the box, looking for Kretschmar, took a touch, rebounds and it's in! Wonderful goal, wonderful goal. Matt Kretschmar slides to the corner flag and his goal has given Woking a lead here, eight minutes into the game. May have bounced off an all-shot town leg on the way through, but they won't care. They have the lead, and it's Matt Kretschmar. Woking one, all-shot town nil. No Toby Edsis still in the uh, all-shot town lineup, missing for a few weeks. Throw down the line from Glover, looking for Andrews, who's somewhat isolated. It must be said from uh, some of his other attackers, Ross and Champion, taking a chance. And Champion's absolutely furious with this goalkeeper. I think was waiting for the ball to come into the box, but you can't take that sort of chance at the back no. end. No, it was. Uh really there was no danger champion hesitated waiting for ross to come for it ross seemed to hesitate coming for it in the end it was a rather panicky kick and deflection out for a woking throw gets a flick on just over the head of tavon campbell crutch mine between Siller and whittingham it's the latter who can bring it away but it's a poor pass and it sets Tyreek Johnson who's now marching down the left hand side Tyreek Johnson goes for the strike straight at the goalkeeper crutch oh. with the follow-up it's just too high for him but Tyreek Johnson didn't go for the cross, went for the strike. Laurie Walker parried it away in the direction of Max Kretschmar. I think it was just an untimely bounce. Yeah, and uh, working fans will be well aware of that left foot strike that Tyreek Johnson can do. He scored a brilliant goal uh, when he was here on loan. Hit the bar with an unbelievable shot uh, against Dover, and that was another one. Hit with such venom. Looking to get it out to Johnson and couldn't quite get it away. And uh, working throw back to Ross, Ross now clearing. Don't forget this afternoon on BBC Radio Sussex coverage of Everton against Brighton, it's now 3-1 to Brighton, Alexis McAllister with his second of the afternoon and Brighton's third is in the Effion now, plays it down the line looking for Tabon Campbell, flag stays down, Effion wants it back, oh. oh and he sprayed the shot wide, what an opportunity to double Woking's lead, great play between Campbell and Effion and he surely has to hit the target there, Ian Nicholson. Yeah, yeah, it was a great, great play by Campbell. And again, instead of smashing it himself, he took his time, put in Effie on. He'd be quite relaxed in this situation, but not anymore. It's uh, working very vulnerable to, to whipped in balls. Kinsella in charge of this one. Actually, almost goes for goal. and <laughs> Probably overcooked the free kick. He probably didn't mean to go for goal. But Craig Ross was just darting to his left to make sure. Let it go, and it's out for a goal kick. I think he probably did. I think he was... He was Goes left to Barkley Adjapong. Support with Silla and Kinsella. Finds the former. Mo Silla now in midfield. Square ball to find Whittingham. Just too strong for him, but has time and space to assess his options. Harris is pointing down the line. Plays the 1 2. Whittingham wins it back, and he's in the working box. Stutters is wrong. Kretschmar comes across. I think Andrews and Whittingham were just on slightly different wavelengths there. Great break there by Aldershot, and, uh, you know, from the, the, the working back three at times. Kinsella looking for a teammate not really too many yellow shirts making a run Mo Silla's there Buckley Adjapong's there so too is Corey Andrews and here he is through the legs of Block finds Kinsella now Barkley Adjapong with a bit of space low ball into the box oh. and Harris drags his shot wide good opportunity for Aldershot not the closest they've come of course but it was really good build-up play on the left-hand side quick interchange in football and Harris has probably got to get that on target away like yeah. that really Five other games in the league today, all at half time. Plenty of local derbies, of course. Borenwood nil, Barnet nil is the latest score. It's a poor header there from Champion. It might set Jaden Harris away. Crucial tackle from Musa Diara. Just wrapped his leg around the player and got the ball. 
and it goes out for an all shot town throw. We'll come back to that in just a second. Dagenham Redbridge 2, Dover 0. 10 men, Eastley 1, Weymouth 0. Notts County 2, 10 men, Wrexham 1. And Yeovil Torquay is goalless. Yep, last few seconds of the half. Kinsella must have had about eight or nine free kicks. We'll hope for a bit more of a response from the front line of the shots. There's one into the box. Arriving there was Oxlade Chamberlain. It's up in the air. Up goes Diara and Champion for the same ball. Falls to Silla. Straight in from range from Harris. And it's an excellent save from Craig Ross. Whoa. Oh, it's better than excellent. It's the best save I've seen all season. Incredible reactions. And Harris caught it better than he's ever caught a ball. Wonderful save from Ross to keep it 1 0 to Wokeham. I mean, th yes, he was. Uh, I thought Wabake was a little bit disappointed, but also Campbell was very quiet. And, uh, you know, he seemed. Uh, it's all about supply for players like Campbell, and he'll come alive very, you know, can, can come alive very quickly and uh, score a goal. So, but uh, we didn't really see much of him. Giara gets a foot in, but Andrews picks up the loose ball and spreads the play out to the Aldershot Town left in finding Kinsella. His JBA now marching down the left-hand side. Challenge comes in from Champion, sweep back into the box, and the header is in! Jaden Harris has scored just seconds into the second half. Nothing Craig Ross could have done, and it's all level in the second half. Woking one, Aldershot Town one. Yeah, great ball in there from Kinsella, and... Uh... And Harris was the first to get up and uh, headed it low by the near post. I don't think there was much Cross could have done. It was hit hit, hit low to his, to his right. But uh, well, that's brought the that's brought the all shot fans alive. But it's also brought the game alive. Cross possibilities from this free kick for the shots. Big big possibilities, as Rob says. Kinsella with another free kick just outside the box. Two man Woken Wall. It looks as though Tavon Campbell and Max Kretschmar are there. Tarek Johnson, is he being killed back? It looks that way. So all 11 players back for Woking. Picky's picking up the player on the edge of the box. Big chance this. Kinsella, low ball, dealt with by, I think it was Wabuke, gets another chance. Ball into the box, flicked on by Diara. Glover's arriving! And that actually <laughs> has hit Rosehead right at the back of the LGS. More than compose himself. The referee's assuming that Aldershot are trying to waste time. Aldershot don't want to draw, they want to win. They want to win, and they know what winning's like here before. Jamar Loza now on the Woken left-hand side, shadowed by two Aldershot town defenders. Loza goes, goes between the pair of them. Jamar Loza still going, was he clipped? Penalty! Jamar Loza cracking through the Aldershot defence, and they have a chance once again in this fixture to convert from 12 yards. Matt Kretschmar gets the ball. And we spoke about those individual moments, Ian. Jamal Loza threw two order shot defenders who are arguing the decision. And the referee was in no doubt but pointed to the spot. Well, no, Begins his run up. It's a very short run up from Max Kretschmar. A deep breath as well. Just waiting for Corey Jordan to get to his feet. I think it's all tactical. But we're ready for the penalty kick. 20 minutes to go. This game hanging in the balance. It's going to come down to big, big moments. Big decision for the penalty. Max Kretschmar couple of breaths, steps up, sends the keeper the wrong way and Woking restore their lead, they lead by two goals to one and it's Matt Kretschmar yet again for Woking providing the goods, 2-1 they lead. Oxlade Chamberlain to Harris, Anderson can't bring the ball off him, Harris now 25 yards out from goal shaping up for the shot, it's a good save from Ross to push it away. Left-footed curling effort from Jaden Harris. Yeah. Good save from Ross. Good shot by Harris. It was a nice height for Ross. Yeah. To, you know, he... Phillips. It was a... They have time to bring it up the pitch once again. Forward ball to find Silla. Harris now. Looking for Barkley Adjapong, who's on the charge now. Has Jolie on the overlap. Here he is. All shots number 20. Ball into the box. Was he pulled down there? He was. And it's a penalty to order shot town. You can see it from here. Lofthouse just couldn't keep his hands down. It's soft, but it's probably the right decision. And Aldershot have a chance from 12 yards themselves. Side the 18-yard box. Corey Andrew from 12 yards. Craig Ross with two hands in the air. As are many Woking fans in the background. Corey Andrew steps up, right-footed. 
Craig Ross didn't move. Corey Andrews puts it into the back of the net and it's level here at the Lathway Community Stadium. The Aldershot Town fans go absolutely wild. It's level here on Derby Day, 2-2. Well, that's set it up for the last five minutes and added time and uh, you would be hard pressed to know how this game is going to go really, whether there's any more drama or whether it's going to end as a 2-2 draw, which was predicted by Rob. Clear by Kretschmar, who just loses out in the end to Jaden Harris. Flick down the line to Kinsella, who's cut the ball alive now. Ball into the boxes beyond everybody, arriving at the back post! And it's in, it's in Jolie, who's stolen the game for Aldershot Town! And Jolie, the substitute, has surely secured all three points for Aldershot. Woking's miserable record here against the Shots will continue as it's Woking 2, Aldershot Town 3. Inspirational substitute from Mark Mosley. Mikhail and Jolie has scored what will surely be the winning goal. The home of Woking, mentioned before kickoff, they just love winning games here and they love winning games late in the day. There's the full-time whistle. It's finished here at the Lathwaite Community Stadium. Woking 2, Aldershot Town 3. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.